Welcome to this WordWall tutorial. WordWall can be accessed through visiting www.wordwall.net and clicking sign up to start creating. WordWall allows us to create activities that are interactive and can be used on digital devices. I'm going to click create activity to get started and then I'm going to choose a match up activity type. Here I'm going to be creating an activity based on novel vocabulary where the children will have to match a keyword with its definition. I need to insert all of the keywords and insert the definitions and then WordWall will make it into an interactive game for me. I need to have at least three rows to make my activity so I can click plus add an item to add further lines and I can have up to 30 rows in this activity. Now that I have inserted all of my words, I'm going to click on plus instruction and add the instructions for the students. When my activity is ready, I can click done and this will give me a preview of how the activity will look to the student. By clicking start, I can see how the game works and I can demonstrate this to the students on the interactive whiteboard, for example. Students will have to click Submit Answers on some of the activities. I can quickly change the look and feel of the game by clicking on a new theme. And then when I press Start, again, I'm going to get a preview of how this will look to students. I can try out another theme by just looking at the theme menu underneath the preview of this window. Some simple controls on this window will allow you to turn on or off the music and sound effects and to put the activity into full screen. Now I am ready to assign this to students so I click set assignment. I can choose whether the students have to enter their name, whether the game is anonymous or to assign through Google Classroom. When I press start I can get a sharing link or I can get a QR or quick response code which students can scan on their tablets to engage in the activity. Student responses will appear underneath the activity itself on your screen or in the My Results tab. Activities that you create are automatically saved and you can find them in the My Activities tab. Here is another activity type called Group Sort, where I have created an activity to sort objects into magnetic and non-magnetic. On any activity, I can click Edit Content and make changes to what I have already inserted. Here you can see that I have added a column name for sorting purposes. I can edit that by clicking on the pencil icon and making a quick change. You can edit any of your activities that you have created in WordWall. Here I'm going to add another item just to show you how you can add pictures to your word wall activity. I type the word that I want to look for, then I click the image icon and it will automatically search for that image for me. I just click to insert. I can also insert audio prompts for students. Simply click on the speaker icon and word wall will predict the word that you want to insert. Scissors. You can repeat this for all of the other words if you want to add a voiceover and a female voice is also available for selection. Once again, we can just press done to get a preview of this updated activity. Now we will see a sound icon above many of the images. If you wish, you can change the template that is used for the activity and this will change how some of the activities work. So for example, I'm swapping from group sort to open the box. We'll see here that it is a different style activity using the same content that I have already put in. I can click my activities each time I want to see all of the activities I have created or saved. Here is an example of an activity for the junior classes or for EAL students. In this activity, we are looking at a matching pairs style activity where children will have to match a picture to a word. I can use WordWall to provide various levels of scaffolding and differentiation by editing the content to suit the needs of my learners. 
To create an activity like this, I'm choosing matching pairs. I'm then going to insert my title and first I'm starting out with just putting in the keywords. This will give me a simple activity where I match a word to a word. In order to adapt this activity, I can click on edit content and make some changes. Here I'm going to choose to insert images. And again, this can be a useful scaffold for children who are learning language and new phrases. Once I have done that for all of the pictures, I can click done and we can see that now it's a picture and word matching game. I can click edit content to adapt this game further. And this time I'm going to add sounds as we've already done in the previous example. Now as the pairs are turned over, the word will be read aloud. In order to make another adjustment to the game, I can click edit and now I'm going to choose pairs of different items. I'm going to move the words onto the second column so that this time the children will be matching the picture to the word on separate cards. When my activity is ready, I can choose set assignment and then again choose the way that I would like students to register and either share the link or the QR code. The link could be put into your digital platform if you wish also. Any further edits can be made from the My Activities tab and by choosing the three dots and seeing the More Options menu. Other teachers have contributed to the WordWall community and here you can search for activities created by other educators that you can use with your students. Simply put in a search term and then you will see some results. Here you can get a preview of the activity. You can like it if you want to and bookmarking will put it into your activities library for later. And you can also use an assignment exactly as it is and set it then and there. If you wish, you can also edit an activity that has been created by another teacher. It won't change the public copy of the activity that's available for everyone, but it will allow you to make changes to the activity and your own copy will be saved in the My Activities tab.